I started recording music when I was in Richmond. Uh, when I was in college, that's, I kind of like learned on the fly how to record. I was in a group, we called ourselves The Lineup. That was back in the college, college days. It was a black, it was a, it was, it was six of us. It was six of us, uh, one being uh, DJ Ray Vaughn. And uh, yeah, that's kind of like how I got my start uh, recording music. I've been doing music like my entire life. I grew up in the church, like singing, and I've always like, you know, high school, like doing freestyles in the hallway, all that type of stuff. But um, right. yeah, uh, when I first started recording, it was it was in a VCU college dorm room um, on uh, what was we recording on uh, Acid Pro. Yep, Acid Pro. Uh, so yeah, that's that's kind of like where we started at. I think. When I first started making making music, uh, it was pretty simple because there were like five or six different people in the group. So all I had to do was just come with like a verse, a rap verse. And I most times didn't even have to worry about writing a hook or song structure because someone else would probably handle that. Or like we would come up with it like collaborative. Um, working with Eric, he kind of showed Cause he come, he, he had come from more of like an R and B songwriting background and he pretty much kind of showed me how to structure songs, you know, like as far as like how, the, what, what, a, what a bridge is supposed to look like or what a hook is, is actually supposed to look like. And being that it was only two of us versus like eight of us, uh, I got to, a chance to get more of the heavy lift in it. I made this project to start and to continue a conversation, um, a conversation around uh, love and relationships and uh, romantic relationships, uh, authenticity, um, vulnerability. And those are things that I feel like a lot of us have in common on a human level, but we don't really find the time enough to have those conversations. So. I'm really, I'm really excited, like to be the catalyst, be a catalyst for those type of conversations, and yeah, that's mainly what I made the project for, or that's what I realized I made the project for. Um, so, I for this for this question, I'll go go a little bit further back. So, my the project that I put out before this is called uh, Planet Earth Is a Ghetto, but I still love you. That was actually a project that I made over the pandemic um, during lockdown here in New York. And I, I was working with my producer. I've been working with my producer here in New York. He, he actually grew up with me. His name is Brandon John. And uh, we've known each other since we were like five years old. So, um, but when lockdown came, it was like, you know, he lived in Brooklyn and I was here. So I was like, well, I, don't I can't like just go to Brooklyn and to his crib and like work on music anymore so what I did was I was like okay I'll try to figure out how to make beats myself um and yeah that's kind of like how I came came up with like the production or all the production on the past record uh Planet Earth is a Ghetto because that was the first project that I've ever produced and like some of the first beats that I ever produced, I was scared that my that my sound would be the same for this one. Um, so I intentionally went in and picked like different sounding type of type of beats, different sounds, uh, different different types of samples. I was trying to go and in, go deeper into a bag that I that I wasn't in on uh, Planet Earth was together. And that's kind of like how I got, I came up with and I pieced together the sounds and all the, all the, all the like little, little intricate things here. I just, I wanted to be as far left as I could production wise, while still being able to keep like the soul of, of the production, which I think is, you know, that's kind of like my style. During the time when I was recording and coming up with different songs, trying to figure out how I was going to roll this out, I had the bright idea that I could um, take the different titles and the different themes of the songs and kind of 
compile like an interview series. So I've been sitting down with some close, not so close people that I know, some people that I know that are just acquaintances and like having conversations about the themes of the songs, um, like 30 minutes to 20 minute conversations, not about the song, the songs in particular, just about the themes and like how these things affect, you know, them on a day to day or like any experiences that they may, may have had. Um, I want the world, I want the, the music to live in, in that world. And I want the music to be able to inform the conversation and the conversation to always be able to inform the, the music. So that's kind of like the world I've kind of created with this project. So it, once the project's out, the, the series will, will go on, will go on. So that's, that's, that's kind of my, that's my approach to, to, to rolling out in the, on the back end. The main thing is that the album will be coming out October 16th. Um, and you can you can uh, follow me on on socials, uh, Mark Ferg underscore on pretty much everything. Uh, and you'll be getting those interviews as well as as, as well as a lot of visuals that, that have been shooting. Um, and I would love to you for you to stay stay tuned.